Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Costume Quest and hopefully a lag-free costume quest. Man oh man, last episode was a disaster and a million apologies. I got so excited about my video card, I never even bothered doing a test run and as I got further and further to the episode, uh, the quality was dropping more and more. Uh, yeah, so that was really bad, and so I'm sorry. Um, I did play the set a little bit. Uh, I did set it so that it wouldn't record my voice at the same time. I'm There's a bit of a lag uh, with the audio, like slightly a little bit, um, but it doesn't seem to be as bad as last time. Oh no, it seems to be the doing, doing the same thing again, but I will not be saving. I won't be saving and doing it as badly as last time. Now let's talk to her again. Oh, Drusilla, you just wanted to leave this horrible blah, blah. Okay, so she doesn't want to be talked to. Bother me one more time, you'll have a big fight on your hands. That's a big word. Okay, so... So it looks like we're starting another fight. So you guys could possibly have a lag-free fight with her. Now, is she going to be more difficult this time around? This is embarrassing. Uh-oh. What's the failure of all your hopes and dreams? No, having to call for backup. Uh-oh. I summon the voracious, the insatiable... Cadaverous Big Bones! Oh, that's not good. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, but this is not good at all. Oh. <laughs> He's stuck in the portal. He's too big. Is it candy time? Boss, I'm sorry, but those children took your candy. What? Yeah, yeah. Um. Message forwarded. What? Oh. Huh? What's going on here? It's that speaker Dorian gave you. Dorian, it's me, Dorsilla. What? Listen, you don't have to worry about me. What? I'm only hanging out with these idiots monsters long enough to trick them into taking me to Repugio. Once I'm in, I can easily use my powers to get rid of Big Bones. That's Big Tubbo. Then I will be ruler of the Repugio. Not Big Bones. That's Fat Loser. Uh-oh. No, now she's in trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's it invisible. <laughs> tub of goo, I'll turn you into a tub of goo. You'll never set forth in Rapunzel, never! You can't do that, we had a deal. Get out of my sight, the deal's off. Oh. She's sad now, and now we don't fight. I uh, almost don't have the energy to eat these children now. Almost. Okay, that's not good. Am I supposed to be able to fight them? Oh, by the way, have fun doing that, jerk. And she's gone. And, oh. What is she doing? Is she powering us up, or is she teleporting us somewhere? Fine, I'll just work up more of an appetite this way. Hmm. Kids, have no fear. You'll like it in my stomach. It smells great in there. I just ate a bunch of bacon. Okay, so what did I just get? Buffed? Did I just get buffed? He has 4,000 HP, so let's try it out. Well, I can hear a little bit of a lag, but it's not that bad, I guess. Oh, well, it's not that great either, so... And why am I... Oh yeah, I switched things up. Well, I don't really like that, because melee attacks I tend to miss more often. Oh god, yes. Well, that's good, I guess I dodged that one. And I hit this one. Well, I'm not... I'm not doing horribly, but I wish it wasn't as hard as this, I guess. Because I feel as soon as I miss one of my dodges... I'm gonna have a hard time. And... Okay. Yes, I'm going to heal right away. I'm not gonna take any chances. Because, you know, it comes back quickly enough, and I don't want to be at a point where these things don't actually fool me, heal me fully. Alright, there you go, wham. Okay. Perfect. And it hit her, and she's gonna counter! It's not a great counter, and he's still not quite half health yet. 
Okay, good. You can keep not missing. I'm very happy. Too bad she sucks. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, this is... Oh, no. Is he healing? No, he's spitting that at us. Ooh, okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I thought I was going to heal himself, and he didn't, so that's technically okay. But now Lucy's in a very vulnerable position, and I can't, don't think I can save her. So we might not be able to beat him this time around. Oh. Damn it, that's exactly what I was worried about. Oh, uh, man. 200, I guess that's better than... Damn it, why couldn't he hit someone else? Like, this is just a uh, random number generator uh, problem, really. Oh, is he actually healing? I think he's healing a little bit between rounds. Oh god. What just happened? Oh, I was fought. Anything else up under this roll? Oh god, no. Okay, well, I can't defend against that. It's an automatic hit. Now she's gonna die. Oh, and I missed. Yeah. Ooh, I'm not feeling so good. Time for a little pick me up. Oh, great. That's the sugar papa light. <laughs> no. oh, I can't do anything. What the heck? Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, at least I dodged. Oh, I'm not dead yet, though. Oh, man, not dead yet. Wham, wham, 261. He's so close. If I can survive a few rounds. If he can hit Ev uh, Everett instead of Reynolds. All right. Oh, gosh. Oh, yes. Oh, I killed him. Damn it. Well, we can win this. There you go. Even if I... Yeah, I can't dodge that at all. Oh, man. And there you go. We're dead. That's a sugar pump or something, whatever. Well... I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, I can't actually beat him. Um... At the way it is now. I could level up one... Let's... You know what? Can we go... Inside this portal? Wait, we can go inside this portal. Well, I'm gonna go level up just one level. Um, I don't think I need to fight a lot of monsters to do that. Uh, because, uh, look at that XP, uh, bar. It's very close. And since I reloaded the game, monsters will have respawned. So I'm gonna go find one around here somewhere. And, uh, with my rocket rollerblades, it shouldn't be difficult to find one. And I kind of want to switch to my, uh, before I forget, uh, oh, actually, I need the rock, I want the rocket roller blades. So, can I see a bird guy? Have guys respawned? Okay, they don't seem to have respawned here. Oh, great, the audio again. Why? Computer, I lowered the quality. I did things you like. Princess. Um... What's well, a little odd? Usually they respawn uh, pretty quickly. Um, and I did all the quests around here. Oh, here's something. There you go. There you go. All right, there's a couple of them. I'm assuming being able to fight both of them should do a little bit of a difference. Uh, what level are they gonna be? Eight, they'll be easy. We might need to do a couple of battles uh, with that much, if they have that much, uh, if they're that low level, I mean. And then I can take on uh, that big guy again. And uh, I kind of wish I could avoid having to have to do the melee thing. Because the uh, range attackers, oh, oh, whew. the range attackers can actually, uh, are a lot easier to not miss. It's a lot safer, I find. There you go. It's not that it's so hard, it's just that as soon as the game lags slightly, uh, you miss. 
So every time, like, I, I'll hit it right on the hair, and that's because, well, the game lags. I mean, not always. Sometimes I actually do screw up, but I'll say often. And so did I get a level from this one? Ah, oh, so close, if not. Yeah, we didn't, but we're close. Oh, yes, we did. Perfect. Oh, that's max level, actually. Um, okay, and... We're still missing one card. I don't know who we're missing it from, though. We found all the hidden kids, didn't we? Uh, and he lost something. His stomach doesn't feel good. Uh, he's happy we helped him. He can sneak around. That's a banana from something or another. Uh, these are actually, uh, paths, but I don't really want to take it. Is she selling anything new? Oh, she is. Um, we can't buy them all, but this is large HP recovery per turn, lethal poison attack, and auto resurrect self after one turn with all HP restored. Oh. Well, that's kind of good. What does, uh... Everett have right now. He has the hand here. It says strong counterattack upon successful. Well, it's not that strong to be honest. So a large HP recovery would go a long way. Um, but what is this one? Auto resurrect. Two ply TP. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Like this is pretty good. Um. Large recovery. I think I'm going to try the large recovery because... Uh, oh, okay, sorry. I thought I had enough because of what I saw, but we're so close. Um, we're actually very close to having enough to buying the last one. And I kind of want to. Because if I do, then I'll have all the battle stands. So I don't know if something happens if we have the, all the battle stands. But if we get a re we're rewarded with something like a creepy treat then perhaps uh, we'll be able to... Um... Okay, we're only open this, and there's nothing over here. Yeah, uh, if we can get... If it gives us the final creepy treat, we also unlock the last costume pattern. Uh, well, it's not the last, because um, we still have the Dracula costume that's not unlocked. So that would be nice to unlock. I'd like to unlock all of them. The thing is, there's no quests left. So I don't think I have to go back to the other zones. So I'm thinking that once I be beat uh, be Big Boss, I might actually end up having the last creepy treat. And at level 10, I don't know if it's big enough of, the, of a difference, but it's a little bit of a difference. So. Now, let's fight. There we go. Just fight again. See, you can't really miss with her, because you just gotta waggle the stick over and over again. While these, not so much. I'm getting better at defending. I do miss sometimes, but very rarely. Um, I don't really feel like it, to be honest. There you go. Much faster to just do it this way. There you go. And we got jaw herders. We got a hundred candy. I think that's enough. Oh. Oh, nice. And we got the cat. So we just need to kill someone. So what does the cat do? <laughs> all right. So all we're missing now is the battle stamp. So cat farm does what? Uh, type magic combat ability. The cat's meow or booming roar with a chance to cause enemies to flee. Um. To be honest, what's special? That's the focus? I don't know what that means. But I don't really want to use it right now. Um, well, that's cool. Now we're going to get the last battle stamp. So that's also doubly cool. I'm very happy about that. I didn't realize that we could talk to her to unlock more stuff. So yes, I'll buy it. And this is Critical Strikes. Eh. Uh, uh, there are no more stuff at this moment. Please come back later. Well, to be honest, we have absolutely everything. So all that's missing, really. Uh, so I think we're actually at the end of the game. 
Um, I'm gonna save because so far uh, the recording hasn't screwed up, so that's good news, number one. So hey, officer, please save. And uh, as I get closer, I'm going to uh, switch my costume to the um, to the to the uh, pumpkin. And I would really like to find actually. Uh, we can find this at Fall Valley. Where do we find that first drape? Gosh damn it. All right guys, I'm gonna cut it here till I get to the beginning of this stage. All right, so we're at the beginning of the stage. Um, I don't believe I missed anything here, um, but I am going to hug things and sounds like they're still, they're still back here. Oh, is there anything to explore here? There isn't. Unfortunately, is the Scarecrow Man there? Oh, maybe her brother. We did defeat her and screw her plans. So maybe he'll give us a reward, actually. Let's uh, go to the carnival. The carnival. What does this guy have to say now? Uh, no refunds, of course. Typical. Uh, he's not here. Um, and then he's just happy that we saved his Ferris wheel. Uh, somebody hijacked the Ferris wheel. We know that already. Is Orzo still mad? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, no. Can we somehow... Oh! And all we got was candy. Okay. Uh, girls... Girl pirates are the most ruthless. Well, it might be something you get after you defeat them. Um, kind of makes me sad if that's the case. Well, not... not. I wouldn't be sad, but... Uh, I just can't seem to find um, the missing piece of the puzzle here. So, uh, was it him that talked to us? No, it wasn't. And I really don't feel like playing Bob. Can I keep doing it? I'm not getting candy, and even if I did, it has no real uh, value now that we have all the battle stamps. And if we go down here, Did I not open this? Oh, jeez. Black cloth, and now we are Dracula. Now he has no... Okay, Dracula has no um, special ability outside of battle, but um, his costume pattern, if we look at it, says, A sorcerer's being who subsists by feeding on the life essence of living creatures. He's a magic attacker. Um... Oh, this could actually be very good. So I will use this. All right, so I'm going to get to... Um, oh, guys, stop screwing around. I'm going to get back to Big Bones, and I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, everyone, we are back at Big Bone. Now, with Big Bone out of the way, I am going to give uh, our good friend Lucy the uh, pumpkin con uh, costume. I have the Dracula, Dracula and we also have... Lady Liberty. Now, that should give us enough of a punch that we don't miss and win. And we get two specials that heal us. So hopefully that's enough. Especially with level 10. And now we start the battle again. I don't feel like doing this again, so here we are. Now let's see what kind of attack is... Oh, there you go. Wow, that's actually pretty easy. And 130. I'm okay with that. There you go. And here we go. And here we go. Now I think we might be doing a bit less damage. But maybe not. He doesn't seem to do as much damage as the last time, so... Oh! Ooh! Okay, I'm not used to this, the magic ones, so... They're not that bad. I just have to figure out which key to click. There we go. Alright, perfect. Uh, X. So easy. And... Oh yeah, that's true. She just heals every turn. Wow, look at that. So, heal everyone. Oh wow, that's actually a pretty cool. It looks pretty neat. Most costumes look pretty neat. And now everybody's full health, so no, I'm not gonna use her anthem. It'll be a waste. Oh, uh, that is gonna be a breeze with uh, the way we have it set up now. There you go, 385. Wow, that's perfect. There we go, and now, oh yeah, she just heals more. Wow, that's so easy now. It's almost ridiculous. 
And I don't know if level 10 make that big of a difference. No, I'm not gonna heal. Because that's not big enough. Should I? Maybe. Maybe I'll regret it, but I don't think so. Oh, and then he's gonna do this one. Now using a heal is gonna be worth it. Unless... One sec yeah, see? It's not even that worth it, really. But I will do it. Because he'll have one on the next turn. And I don't want him to die. So here we go. So effective. Perfect. And he's he's almost zoned to uh Oh, that was close. That's okay, that's okay. He has his. I don't know how much it heals by though. He was at about hundred HP, I think. And now he's full health. Look at that. Wow, that's that was a lot of healing. Crazy. Now he's gonna he's gonna soon transform into his new form. Wow, I'm really happy about this. This couldn't be going any better. Yeah, exactly. Time for a little pick me up. Oh, yum, 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 yum. That's the sugar papa lights. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I dodged that. Perfect. Oh, man. I do need to heal, though. Oh. Wham, wham. Thank you, man. Ah, uh, not enough. Ah, oh, man. Lucy could technically die. I don't want her to, though. I want everyone to survive. Please survive. Please survive. Ooh, okay, that was actually pretty good. That was decent. I think I'll have Anthem at this turn. Oh, Ooh. there you go. And yes, I do, thankfully. Ooh. And 116, that should give her enough survivability survivability until the next. There you go, wham. And we dodge one. Oh wow! Ow! 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 There we go. I don't know if we'll bring her up to full heal. I think she only had 16 left. Let's see how bad it is. Yeah, that was about 130, 40, I think. Wow, he's so dead. Uh, Lucy, end it. End it, my good friend, with a nice epic Hollow Z. What a better game way to end the bad final boss. What? How did he dodge that? Anything left under this? What the heck? How did he dodge that? It... Oh, does he have elemental defense or something? Oh, well, obviously now she's dead, but jeez. Oh, that's really unfortunate. And now he's dead. And he sinks in his portal. He, he probably needs to stop eating anyway, so we did him a favor. I don't think he's truly dead. We got 5,000 XP, but for what? We're at max level. And... Come and get it! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> candy parade. Hey, save some for us. Alright, we'll just drop off some candy at the mall and then it's straight back to Auburn Pines. It shall be so. Hey guys, can we make a pack? Can we promise to do this every Halloween? Yes! Yeah! Well, that's cute. No! <laughs> Maybe. I think he had fun. After all. Well, well, well. What's going on? Are we splitting the loot here? Okay, Lucy Everett, I called both your parents. And they both said it's fine if you stay over. Nice, a sleepover. I hope it's not a weekday. <laughs> I wonder if they are as happy as I am about their kids making friends tonight. Mom! Mom! <laughs> hey! Dad tax. <laughs> I love that line. You gotta pay the tax, man. Good night, kids. Don't eat too much candy. Well, there we go. The end. All right, let's get back to business. I pick caramel. Good move. I pick sour snails. Ew, I pick black licorice. No, that's the true ew. Black licorice. You're calling me ew? I love black licorice. You must be the only one. You can have one, it's one of mine, bro, if you give me your package of astronaut flan. It's a deal, sis. Oh, what a happy... Okay, I pick what chocolate knuckles. 
You can't pick on the same turn that you swap. <laughs> Who made those rules? Yes, you can. Look, I know things were different in your old town, but... I'm taking prickly pucks. It was my turn. I can't wait forever, babe. Did you just call me babe? There you go. And that's the end of costume quest. Um... There you go. Oh, that's cool. Some costumes from the actual developers. I wonder if they have a lot of them that were into the game. Well, actually, there's a cat and there's a robot and there's... I don't know what that is. A karate master? Ninjas and princesses and football players. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, okay. I uh, enjoyed this game quite a bit, actually. Um, it was a lot of fun. It's unfortunate that I wasn't able to get some good... Uh, good uh, footage of this game um, and I was having computer problems um, I'm not very proud of this series uh, maybe for costume quest 2 when I decide to play it uh, I will have mastered the art of capturing 3d games uh, this this last episode was actually recorded in 10 20, 1080p but it was a slightly uh, laggy at the end so not a hundred percent not quite uh, up to par um, yeah, so the game was fun, though I have to say the game was uh, a little shallow. Um, the leveling up system, um, I don't know. I, I was pretty much on rails. Uh, you couldn't really, you could, I guess, go grind if you went back into previous areas and reloaded the map and went and killed other monsters, but it wasn't really worth it. Because the battles were very difficult. Um, the time attack system was lame because um, there's only three types of costumes. You had magic. Which was a click a button repeatedly, you had range, which was just waggle the left stick, and then you had melee, which was a time attack. Um, which like basically press Y in between a, sp in a specific interval. Uh, all were pretty easy. Uh, the melee attack was the toughest and I missed it quite a few times. But mostly because I was actually having trouble with the game lagging. And every time it was in a while it would like kind of have a little hiccup. And I would click, and you would. That, those are the times where, I, like, I was essentially miss right on the line. Now they were not all uh, screw ups because of lag. Sometimes actually because I sucked, but still, I felt uh, like they were very easy and possibly too easy. There is a Grubbins on Ice that might actually play through. Um, I, that seems to be an expansion pack on the first game. Uh, the collection aspect of the game was really fun. I think uh, Double Fine did a really good job with the collection aspect of it because I really did want to get all the costumes and I really did want all the creepy treats. And what was fun about that was some of them were from side quests, some of them were just from battles, some of them from were from bosses. And I don't know what it was, but I was hooked on the collection aspect of it. And what was fun is some games to get 100% completion, you need to grind and you need to do all these really like random stuff. This game didn't do that. This game made it really easy to get 100% com completion. You just had to look and follow your quest log. So I kind of appreciated that. I didn't waste time uh, getting this game out at 100%. So that's that's something I think uh, uh, really cool. And uh, because uh, I hate when games pad the time it takes to end a game by just you know artificially you know like they don't add quality they just add numbers like oh if you want this you have to grind to level 99 and beat the special boss there was n none of that um in this game so i am very grateful of that um aside from that the costumes were fun the storyline was very cute the dialogue was also fun um the automatic dialogues was definitely a con like sometimes it went by too fast and i couldn't read it out loud so i feel like i missed little puns here and there which was unfortunate uh, some people think it would ruin the pace of the dialogue but i disagree only because um, you can stop them from doing something until you press the A key and then keep the animation going. Um, I think that would have worked fine. I don't know how they did in Costume Quest, I don't know if they resolved that, but uh, I guess it wasn't really a deal breaker. I still enjoyed the game despite that, um, but still. Anyway, uh, totally awesome game. Uh, it, it was so cheap, I got it on sale, so it was like, you know, I think I paid like three to five bucks for both games, including the expansion, so very cool. I do plan on playing the second game in the series in the future, so honestly, 
Um, and star in terms of like of a star rating out of five, I, I don't I, I think I'm gonna give it a three point five. Um, it was fun. I would recommend it. Uh, I played it through the end, and I would have done it whether I was recording it or not. Uh, I never like dreaded playing this game, but the reason why it doesn't get a five is the gameplay is very shallow, as I was saying. There's no real death in the costumes; they're all pretty much the same. Uh, the fighting system was very shallow as well. It just uses it, you know, you know, fight until you have your ultimate, and then use your ultimate. Um, even the monsters uh, were just palette swap swaps, really. Um, you'd go to a new zone and you'd have new monsters, but the monsters were all inspired. Like, you know, they're just like slight differences. Like the monk and the mage, sorry, there's like the warlocks and there were like monks. They're essentially the same, but in a different position and different colors. And then when you'd go up different levels, it'd have the same roles. Some were healing, some were buffing, and some were fighting, but they were just a new model. So it was like just the same strategy over and over. So the monsters, there's not a lot of variation and not like, you didn't have different ways of dodging attacks. Always the same thing, like press A before the prompt goes away. So there was no real, um, yeah, like I feel like, you know, F Super Mario RPG on the SNES had a more I don't know, dynamic, more fun battle system to, uh, you know, play through because each character had a different different time to attack depending, depending on the abilities and every monster had a different way of dodging this. Uh, still, uh, f I think this is the first RPG by Double Fine and uh, I think they did a phenomenal job and they did a lot of stuff that I think uh, most RPGs should do and it's the perfect length like I don't know how many episodes I think this is episode 13 which is actually pretty awesome considering it's a Halloween game 13 though is not on you know Friday the 13th will never be on Halloween but <laughs> you know because it's always the 31st but uh, still good number to end the series on so there you go those are my thoughts on the game. So I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, uh, liking, and all that jazz. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye now. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching my video. I appreciate every single view. If you enjoyed what you watched, feel free to take a look at the next video or peek at a random video, don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.